Understanding ABS Filament for 3D Printing Welcome to the Bulldog 3D, where we delve into the latest in technology and innovation. I'm your host, Darren, and in today's episode, we're exploring one of the most popular materials used in 3D printing, ABS Filament. Whether you're a hobbyist, a professional, or just curious about 3D printing, this episode will give you a comprehensive understanding of ABS filament. Let's get started. What is ABS filament? ABS stands for acrylonitrile butadiene styrene. It's a thermoplastic polymer that's widely used in various industries due to its strength, durability, and versatility. In the context of 3D printing, ABS filament is one of the most commonly used materials. But why is that? Let's break it down. Composition and properties. ABS is a copolymer made from three monomers. Acrylonitrile provides chemical resistance and thermal stability. Butadiene adds toughness and impact resistance. Styrene gives the material a smooth and glossy finish. These properties make ABS filament particularly suitable for creating sturdy and long-lasting 3D printed objects. Advantages of ABS filament. Now let's talk about why you might choose ABS filament over other materials like PLA or PETG. ABS has several advantages, strength and durability. IBS is known for its high impact resistance and toughness, making it ideal for functional parts and prototypes. Heat resistance, it can withstand higher temperatures than many other filaments, which is crucial for parts exposed to heat. Post-processing, IBS can be easily sanded, machined, or glued. It can also be smoothed using acetone vapor, giving your prints a polished look. Cost effective. A BS is relatively inexpensive and widely available, making it accessible for most 3D printing enthusiasts. Challenges of using ABS filament. While ABS filament has many benefits, it also comes with some challenges. Warping and cracking. ABS tends to warp and crack during printing due to its high shrinkage rate when cooling. This can be mitigated by using a heated bed and an enclosed print chamber. Fumes. Printing with ABS releases fumes that can be harmful if inhaled. It's essential to print in a well-ventilated area or use an air purifier. Bed adhesion. Ensuring good adhesion to the print bed can be tricky. Many users apply a layer of ABS slurry, use a PEI sheet or other adhesive aids to improve bed adhesion. Tips for successful 3D printing with ABS. If you decide to use ABS filament, here are some tips to help you get the best results. Temperature control. Maintain a consistent nozzle temperature, typically between 220 degrees Celsius to 250 degrees Celsius, and a heated bed temperature around 90 degrees Celsius to 110 degrees Celsius. Enclosed printing area. Use an enclosed 3D printer to maintain a stable temperature and reduce warping. Ventilation. Ensure proper ventilation or use an air purifier to manage fumes. Bed preparation. Use adhesive aids like ABS slurry, captain tape, or a PEI sheet to improve bed adhesion. Cooling. Minimize cooling during printing. Turning off the cooling fan can help reduce warping and improve layer adhesion. Applications of ABS filament. ABS filament is used in a wide range of applications due to its strength and versatility. Here are a few examples. Prototyping. Ideal for creating functional prototypes that need to withstand mechanical stress. Automotive parts. Used for interior and exterior parts due to its durability and heat resistance. Consumer products. Commonly used in toys, kitchenware, and other household items. Medical devices. Suitable for non-implantable medical devices and equipment due to its toughness and ease of sterilization. Before we wrap up, let's quickly compare ABS with other popular 3D printing filaments. PLA, easier to print and environmentally friendly, but less durable and heat resistant compared to ABS. PETG offers a good balance between ease of printing and strength, but is slightly more expensive than ABS. Nylon, extremely strong and flexible, but challenging to print and requires high temperatures. Choosing the right filament depends on your specific project needs. So consider the properties and challenges of each material. That's all for today's episode on ABS filament for 3D printing. We hope you found this information helpful and that it gives you the confidence to try printing with ABS. 
If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future episodes, feel free to reach out. Thanks for listening to the Bulldog 3D and happy printing. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also leave a comment if you enjoyed the show. Until next time, I'm Darren, signing off.